Hello everyone, and welcome to the weird, scary, and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are going to explore one of the worst crimes committed in the history of Macau, the crimes of Huang Zheng. Born in Guangdong, China, Huang Zheng immigrated to Hong Kong at the time a British colony in the 1970s, having gone by numerous aliases including Chen Shu Lang or Chen Yu Lang. In 1973, Huang was involved in a dispute with another man who owed him money. Unable to pay him back, Huang murdered him and fled to Guangzhou on mainland China. The identity of the man who was murdered was never revealed. Huang eventually married the daughter of his landlord, with her family disapproving of the marriage. As a result, the pair eloped to Macau, then a Portuguese territory, with Huang burning his fingertips to avoid being connected to the murder committed in Hong Kong, with police in Hong Kong still investigating the murder. In Macau, Huang became friends with Zhang Lin, and the pair began to gamble together. Zhang Lin was a former street hawker who set up his own restaurant, the Eight Immortals Restaurant, connected to the Eight Immortals Hotel in the 1960s. Having married, he lived with his family and wife nearby the restaurant, who helped him run the Eight Immortals restaurant. Both of the Zengs had gambling problems, which is how they came into contact with Huang. In 1984, Huang and Zen were involved in a series of high-stake bets against each other, with Huang winning 180,000 Chinese yuan against, against Zeng and his wife. Unable to pay him back, the pair made a verbal agreement that the Zengs would cede the Eight Immortals restaurant's mortgage if the debt was not repaid within one year. However, by 1985, with Huang frequently hanging around the Eight Immortals restaurant, the Zengs had failed to pay Huang back, with the Zengs continuing to lose money to him, accumulating a debt of 600,000 Chinese yuan, approximately $75,000. On the evening of the 4th of August 1985, nine members of the Zeng family were closing the Eight Immortals restaurant. An angry Huang entered the restaurant and demanded that he was repaid 30,000 yuan, later reduced to 20,000. Zeng Lin also refused to turn ownership of the restaurant over to Huang, which had previously been agreed. One female family member broke free and screamed for help, with Huang stabbing her in the back of her neck with the glass from a broken beer bottle. Huang then either strangled or stabbed all nine of the family members with the jagged glass. Huang then left the restaurant to lure one of Zhang's sisters to the restaurant where he killed her. In total, ten people were killed. Huang then dismembered their bodies over eight hours wrapping them in plastic bags which he threw into garbage bins and dumped in the ocean. Recovering some money and a key to the restaurant from Zeng Lin's corpse, Huang brazenly stayed the night at the Zeng's residence, leaving a note on the door of the restaurant that it was closed for three days. On the 5th of August 1985, a delivery driver visited the Zeng's family home, with Huang telling him that the family had left on a trip to mainland China. Amazingly, Huang kept operating the Eight Immortals restaurant, utilizing the ownership documents and the key from Zeng Lin's corpse. On the 8th of August 1985, swimmers found eight pieces of human limbs on a nearby beach with a further three body parts found on Macau's beaches over the following week. The last body parts were found four years later in a garbage dump in 1989. The Public Security Police Force of Macau eventually found that the severed limbs belonged to the Zeng family. Growing suspicious of Huang, the police found documents in his bank holdings belonging to Zeng Lin and student ID cards belonging to the missing Zeng children. Attempting to flee to mainland China, Huang was arrested on the 28th of September 1986 and convicted of 10 murders four days later on the 2nd of October 1986. On the 3rd of October 1986, the infamous Huang was attacked in prison and sent to hospital, from where he attempted to escape. On the 6th of October, he confessed to the murders and detailed how he killed the 10 members of the Zeng family. 
On the same day, Huang attempted to commit suicide through slicing his wrist on a garbage bin lid, but was rescued by another prisoner. Huang succeeded in taking his own life on the 4th of December 1986, when he slit his wrists with a bottle cap at midnight, being found by prison staff on the 5th of December 1986. Leaving a suicide note and a letter to a Macau newspaper, Huang stated that his suicide was an attempt to escape his chronic asthma. In 1993, the Hong Kong movie, The Untold Story, released in mainland China under the names of Human Pork Bun and Human Meat Roast Pork Buns, was released based on the story of Huang, sensationalizing the story with Huang cannibalizing the bodies of the Zings. The movie starred Danny Lee and Anthony Wong, making 15,763,018 Hong Kong dollars, with Wong winning Best Actor at the 13th Hong Kong Film Awards. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet, and have an amazing day.